I did my capstone project, obviously, as you can see by my geek, um, on the history and benefits of martial arts for women. Martial arts. Martial arts is essentially um, the, it means art of war, and it's essentially the training to fight in systems um, and living by a code of ethics. The earliest of civilizations used systematic ways of fighting, like the Ottomans, the Macedonians, the Knights, and the Celts, and so on, the Spartans, and everybody else. Um, and the benefits, you gain self-confidence, um, you gain focus, concentration, and uh, a whole list of other things which we'll talk about later, and most importantly, um, a self sense of self-security. Uh, martial arts is broken up into hundreds of different systems and styles. You have uh, judo, jiu-jitsu, karate, um, kempo, taekwondo, etc., etc. Uh, many ancient martial arts have gone extinct. However, for some reason, um, the Asian martial arts, like from Japan and China, have prevailed. And these are the ones I'm going to be touching upon today because I feel like these are uh, one of the best, some of the best styles. Not the, they're not always the best, but I feel like they would be more towards women. Towards women. All right, first one is karate. Karate originated in Okinawa, Japan, and um, and karate translates to mean empty hand. It was um, originated in Japan in 1470, um, and it actually roots back to India with the Zen Buddhists. And what happened was the Zen Buddhists um, had their own style of fighting, and then they went to China in the Shaolin temples and shared it with them. And the Shaolin um, monks made their own system called Shaolin Kung Fu. And I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Kung Fu, like Jackie Chan and all that good stuff. Um, in China at the time, um, uh, in Japan at the time, sorry, there was actually a law banning weapons. And even though the civilians followed this law, the bandits didn't. And um, bandits attacked the civilians often. And so in order to, to follow the law, they, the civilians created their own style based off the techniques in Kung Fu, and they called it karate. Jiu-Jitsu um, is translated to mean the gentle art, and that also it was brought to Japan in the 15th century. It was um, it was mainly, mostly, mostly practiced by the samurai and the ninja, and they followed a strict code of ethics called the Bushido Code. And this code had things like loyalty, honor, um, and courage, and all that good stuff. Um, the point of Jiu-Jitsu is to use as little force as possible to defend yourself and subdue your opponent. So, for example, um, I like you want to come up here. So, for example, um, some Jiu-Jitsu, I can show you. You want to cross hand grab me? So, do you feel that at all? <laughs> <laughs> so, do it again. So what I do is um, he grabs my wrist, and what I do is I'm going to trap his hand, come up and fish, like shark fin it, on his wrist bone. Do you feel that at all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's another one where, um, can you guys see it all? Okay, you want to do it on an angle? Do that one more time on an angle so everyone else can see it. He's like, yeah, I feel right, it. Um, there's another one um, where he's going to, uh, this arm, that's my arm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, break this here.
which is groundwork basically. I'm sure you guys have all seen UFC or whatever, so that's what they basically <coughs> um, These are the seven um, like codes of Bushido. You got justice, courage, benevolence, politeness, sincerity, honor, and loyalty. So like I said before, honor, loyalty, courage, like this. Judo. Judo is a variation of um, Jiu-Jitsu. It's actually created by Jiguro Kano. Yeah. And it originates in Japan. And um, the, they're actually it's created from Jiu-Jitsu techniques. Um, Kano actually traveled to Europe to spread his knowledge in 1889. And um, Kano had a huge respect for women. And um, in that sense, he actually took on one of the first um, women in karate. Women's, women's students, like official students in a dojo. And her name was um, Sueko Ashia. And um, she, he actually, a lot of people didn't like this idea because they thought, oh, women aren't like physically able to do these things. They're weaker than men, which is scientifically proven as true. But um, he, they really thought that they couldn't because biologically they had something wrong with them and they couldn't do actually do martial arts. So he proved, he proved all those critics wrong. Um, he opened one of the first dojos for women, and um, actually I thought it was really cool. He had he had a, um, a, a woman student. Her name was um, Keiko Fukuda, and um, she actually died recently. If you want to click the pictures, she was 99 when she died, and um, that's her. She was 98 years old, kicking butt. She actually died in February this year. It's pretty interesting. All right, Wing Chun, which is I feel like is one of the most interesting. Uh, it's got a really cool legend behind it. Uh, Wing Chun was developed in southern China, and um, it's actually a type of kung fu, like most things in China were at that time. Um, it's actually it was created by a Buddhist monk named um, Wu Mei, and um, it, he, the story is that Wu Mei was a guy Buddhist monk, and he actually um, he mimicked the, the the battle or the movements of a battle between a snake and a crane. That's what the legend says. So it's very fluid, and um, you get a whole bunch of. You want to come up? Yeah. We have a practice this yeah. <laughs> Here. Remember this? Push down, punch, you block. It's very close combat, and so you push down, you punch, I block, and then it goes and so on. And it goes, it's like fluid motion. Yeah. But anyway, it was, it's very fluid and it's very close quarters combat. Um, and it's actually Hume created it. Hume created it, um, and it was it was de-emphasized um, strength and size superiority. It was mostly based on structural superiority. So if your actual technique of it was good, you could basically defeat almost anybody. Um, his his first um, prodigy and student was named Yim Wing Chun. Yes, that's where the name comes from. And um, her story is that she was she was being bullied into marriage in a by a wealthy land landowner in China. And um, so what happened was she said, "Give me six months to train, and if you can beat me in a fight, I'll marry you." And so she went to the Buddhist temple, and she learned under Wu Mei um, this art that he hadn't named yet. And he went back, and he de she defeated. She went back and she defeated the wealthy landowner, and that's when Wu Mei named his bar of Wing Chun. Um, another group of famous people who actually trained in Wing Chun was Ip Man, and I don't know if you know who Ip Man is. Right, that's uh, our interpretation of the. Uh, so Ip Man is actually um, Bruce Lee's master, and I don't know if you've seen any of the Hollywood movies but they're pretty awesome, and I recommend them. All right. Roles of women in early China. In early China, um, women were excluded from almost everything. They were basically, the, their only like use was procreation, basically. What happened was they were excluded from matters of the estate. They, they had no control over anything. All they had to do was take care of their kids. They were excluded from politics and military, especially military. Like frowned upon. However, writers in that era um, thought that women were actually intellectually and creatively equal to men at the time. And um, the, the, women's, the 
women's status changed in um, the 1950s with the, mix the mixing of Confucian and Christian views. In early Japan, however, completely flip-flopped, um, women of early Japan were usually married to feudal lords or um, samurai, and these women were held with so much respect. They were actually sought after for advice. Um, they controlled everything when, when their husbands were away. They had complete control over business, of the estate, farming, harvesting of crops, and um, they managed their servants and controlled all the business and everything. And they had to teach their children about the Bushido code and the ways of the samurai, and they were actually trained um, in the art of martial arts, um, when their, especially for when their husbands were away, so they knew how to defend themselves in their estate. So I got some. Break him, please. Thank you. 